the channel today we shall be looking at asking your technical coding interview question ransom note so the question says that given two strings ransom note and magazine return true if ransom note can be constructed from magazine and false otherwise so each letter in magazine can only be used once in ransom note so let's say that so we have this uh, magazine that has B ransom note is A so we want to form a construct ransom note from magazine so what we want to do is I want to check can we find A in magazine we can so that's false so at any point we see a character that is in ransom note but it's not in magazine then we can just return false so that means we would like to go through all the characters in ransom notes uh, and all the characters in magazine one after the other so here ransom note aa although we have a but we don't have two of that so that's false here we can pick this a and a and that's true so we do that is in lower case and the maximum value is 10 to the power 5. Now what we don't know is should it follow each other? We may want to clarify that with our interviewers. Like if you have A, B, A, should it also be true? We may want to clarify that. So I will just assume that okay, even if it is A, B, A, that should be true. So it doesn't matter the position as long as we have the number of count of the characters to be to match then that's good i just have them. i don't know yet until we submit and see if it passes all the test cases so the first thing we want to do first is um we want to have the count in magazine so we want to go through the magazine so we want to create a count of the characters in magazine so that's the first thing we want to do so how do we do that let's create a dictionary for magazine so we can say magazine and uh, dict and we initialize that to a empty dictionary then we can go through that and say for um, mg for magazine in magazine and we want to check if the mg is in the magazine dict if it's in the magazine dictionary then what we want to do is that we want to say that the magazine underscore dict and of the mg we want to increment the count by one else so that is if it is not there then we just want to assign a value of one to that so we can have magazine dict of mg and we want to assign it a value of one okay so by the time we go through this for loop we are sure that we have our account of the characters in magazine then the next thing we just want to do is to decrement the character in decrement count of characters in in our magazine dict count of characters in the dictionary we just created in magazine dict okay as we walk through the uh, let's see with our work uh, yes that work we decrement that as we see it in the magazine dict. So we're going to walk through the ransom note. So we're going to walk through the characters in ransom note. As we see a character in ransom note, we decrement that in the magazine. Okay, so we want to say that for ransom notes, let's say that is how uh, n in ransom note okay so we will check if 
the RN. Immediately, if it is not in need, we just return for. So we may want to take care of that. Okay. So if RN not in, if it is not in magazine, underscore dict. So there is no way we can just run that. We just return and that is the end of that <coughs> this is <coughs> excuse me if it is not there we can just return first and that should be okay we don't need an else here because we just do this so we just check that okay if we get to this point that means it is there and what we're going to do is just a magazine underscore dict and we can just pick that particular one, the value and decrement it by one. Okay. But another thing we also want to check is, we want to check if it might be there, but the count might be zero. Because if after we have gone to, we still need more, but we have already picked up to zero, so we can't pick more. So we also want to check as well that if it's not there, but if it is there, so by the time we get here, we know it is there. We want to check if the value is zero, if it is equal to zero, then definitely we want to return first as well because we know that there's no way we can we don't want to get into a negative okay so i think that should be done and at the end we'll just return true so at the end we just return true that means we know that all situation has been satisfied let's do a walkthrough and be sure we're good it looks good here but let's do a walkthrough and see that we are not concerned about characters that is in magazine but are not needed here so we're not concerned about that we're just concerned about the character that is in ransom note and want to be sure that it's actually in magazine or after we have decremented we want to make sure that we're able to have it so it's not equal to zero okay because we won't be able to decrement it again so let's look at an example so if we take this one as an example and uh, here we just have uh, by the time we go through this for loop our dictionary is going to look this way we're going to have a dictionary of b that has a count of one it has a count of one by the time we come here, so we pick the first value, which is A. Then if it is not, so it returns first. So this works. So let's pick another example, this one. So we come in here. We want to see, by the time we walk through this uh, loop, we're going to have A to be equals to 1 and b to be equals to one that's for magazine so by the time we pick the first a in ransom so we come here and check if a is not a magazine dict and we know it is there return for so if it is equal to zero it's not zero so at this point our magazine dict is going to become this and a will be decremented the value will become zero then we pick the next a we check if a is not in there it is there but the value is zero so we return first so this works so let's see the final one so in this scenario we come in here and by the time we go through this we're going to have our a to be equal to two and b to be one 
So we come into this place now. The first A is coming here and we check if A is not in magazine, it is there. If it is zero, it's not zero. By the time we come in here, this will be reduced. We remove one from this, so this will be reduced to one. We pick the second A. If it is not in, it is there. If it is equal, it is not equal to zero. Now we come in here, we reduce it by one. Then that's all. Then we just return true. So that works. Let's run it. Let's look at the other one. Good. So that works. Uh, let's look at the other test cases. So this is A. Okay. So let's look at the last test case. So those two works. Good. So let's look at this. And run it. All right, all the three work, so let's submit that. Okay, that passes all our test cases. All right, thank you very much, and uh, see you in the next one.